Elon Musk met with Tim Cook yesterday. And he met in uh, Cupertino, California. Musk tweeted, good conversation. Among other things, we resolved the misunderstanding about Twitter potentially being removed from the App Store. Tim was clear that Apple never considered doing so. Him doing that, Tim Cook. Now, the China thing, I mean, that happened and they deserve all the heat for that. But I don't know why. It is kind of weird. And I couldn't I was thinking about this, why they would that why they would help China crack down on their innocent citizenry. But yet they wouldn't listen to the rage mob and pull Twitter from the app store. Is there am I missing something? Did they not want to poo where they eat? I don't know. Like, what is that? Is it that? Is that just I mean, really, seriously, is that all it is? It did seem a little out of character for Tim Cook. I will say that Apple never gave any data over to the government. They didn't do any of that. But they will. I guess you will work as an agent of state. I don't know. Maybe they need a clean house, too. But apparently Apple is not pulling it. That's the the headline here. But they have. He said that he didn't say really anything about advertising, though. Because remember, he said that Apple has mostly stopped advertising on Twitter. So there's some questions there, I think, still that are, at least for me, unresolved. So what does that mean? I mean, if he's, they're not pulling it from the App Store. He said the accu- that accusation, because he had more than one. He said that accusation was, they, that was a misunderstanding. I'm just, but he said they resolved the issue. They, they I guess they squashed the beef. Does that include that issue as well? I don't know. I don't know if that's been clarified. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it has been clarified. And then he, because he went out, because they had that secret 30% tax on everything that you get through their their app store. I mean, there's, you know, I don't think there's some stuff there. It's still concerning, though. The couple of things here, because it very much, this is still, this is going to be, golly, this is going to be ongoing. And I'm just curious to see what other, companies because they said that there were a couple of different I'm looking at uh, Gizmodo uh, like for instance General Motors they've they haven't uh, tweeted a lot they've all these media entities are looking at all of these businesses seeing how much the the businesses are still using the platform and whether or not they're still taking out those sponsored tweets on the platform and so there is There's one they watch, uh, it's like an ad industry thing. And they were saying that Twitter's advertising losses were piling up. Employees say. I kind of wonder how much of this is true and how much of it is just hype from people who are mad over Elon Musk. You know what I mean? Like how much of it is like an employee disgruntledness. And because the media has been pushing companies to pull their advertising from Twitter. So you're creating the, you're, cre- you're literally creating the problem. Gizmodo, which is a cesspool, says that Elon Musk is having an awful time with Twitter's ads. Yeah, because you guys are harassing businesses, saying that they're hate adjacent if they don't pull their advertising from Twitter because Twitter just doesn't ban people because they're Republican, conservative, or libertarian. They said, they, I, the, all this, the, these measures are so stupid. They're like, oh, we, hate speech is up. Well, what do you consider hate speech? Because they consider dis, mere disagreement to be hate speech. I have been told repeatedly, I've been told by literal anchors on air that simple advocacy for Second Amendment rights is hate speech. So what? The, remember all, back in 2010, if you did not want the government to take over health care, with Obamacare, then that was called hate speech. There were people, I can't tell you how many times I was on little, I was on cable news and debating the whole, yes, I will lose my doctor, which I did. Uh, by the way, after Obamacare, I lost three specialists. My son lost his uh, allergist and he had severe allergies that actually put him in the ER uh, twice. We absolutely did. It ruined our health care. Absolutely. Uh, so that was a total lie. But if you pointed that out, it was called hate speech. Anything that that goes against 
their narrative is hate speech. So you can't, what is that? So when they say, oh, hate speech is up. Okay, so what? What is hate speech? And then they got mad because they, Twitter ended that coronavirus misinformation policy because it wasn't. And they said, oh, they, he, uh, they, they re-verified notorious neo-Nazis. You're upset because someone used a, the, the Pepe Frog meme, but you're not upset that Twitter has never banned the religious leader of Iran who is on Twitter pre- literally preaching hate, if you want to have that discussion. I mean, they have rape squads to punish women who don't have their hair properly covered in Iran, but you're upset because someone used a frog meme? This is the, that's the issue. No, it's these media entities that are doing this. Apple only made up a 4% of Twitter's revenue in the first quarter, though, is what I was seeing. But they are really, really trying to get all advertisers to pull any support. So that, I think that's why I've changed my mind on the Twitter blue thing. I, I think if he needs to get money then that's the best way to do it. It's $8. Just do it then. Just do it. 